everyone! Well, Halloween is just a couple of weeks away, and if you do not have your costume yet, then this video is going to show you a couple of costume suggestions for you. Initially, I was just going to do a regular outfit of the day using the skirted corset. However, I thought it would be a lot more fun to do a Halloween or costume-themed video, because I can think of so many other ways to use this other than just casual wear. So probably the most obvious costume that would come to mind when looking at a corset dress like this is... A competitive figure skater. <laughs> so you can see that this is actually way too big for me, this case right here. But um, it's very, very easy because you can already see that with the skirt here, it very much looks like already a competitive um, figure skating outfit or just one of the regular outfits that skaters would use, say, in the 1960s. It's very short peplum style. Um, it is a little bit dangerous, so I would recommend that you put on some sort of um, leggings underneath or tights of some sort, and then you can just add whatever jewelry, jewelry you like, um, very fanciful, colorful makeup, and put your hair up into a sort of stylized sparkly bun, and you're set to go. And you can see that I have absolutely no problem making a fool of myself online, but you can see that this, if it went paired with the tutu, you can very easily go as a ballerina for Halloween. And yes, I am catering to the girly girls here. Um, you can either put the tutu over top of the corseted skirt or underneath as it is not unusual to see a ballerina's costume that has a peplum over the skirt. Um, and if you want to, you can just extend the tutu down. Like my tutu is very long here. Um, so you could probably just let your hair down, use some very elaborate makeup and go as the quintessential 1980s Barbie doll. I have that stupid poof thing happening with my bangs, don't I? Now, when it comes to being the quintessential poofy dressed Barbie doll for Halloween, basically the bigger the better. You need bigger skirts, bigger hair. Right now I have uh, fake bangs in, and I would uh, preferably have it curled all the way out to there in the very 80s fashion. Um, big jewelry, like oversized jewelry, very loud makeup, the extremely long eyelashes. I had to take off my false eyelashes after like 10 seconds because they were annoying the crap out of me. And basically, the corseted skirt is going to give you that Barbie figure that's uh, <laughs> not really possible in real life. And while we're on the topic of 80s, you can very easily convert the corseted skirt into an 80s outfit. So right now, underneath um, the peplum, I have a basic knee-length pencil skirt and then you can just pair it with a cropped blazer, um, preferably with biggest sleeves as you can possibly find, very big shoulder pads if you can manage it. Um, right now I just pulled this out of my closet so it's uh, not quite as 80s as one would like, but really the 80s are kind of back. I mean the peplum is back in fashion this season anyways, so um, it should be fairly easy to dress up for an 80s party. And you can basically use the corseted skirt as a main part of the costume in itself if you're brave enough and if it's warm enough outside. Um, or you can just basically use some nude colored tights underneath just to add a little bit more modesty. But depending on the color you get, you could turn this into any number of costumes based off cartoon characters. So if you get this in green, it would be Tinkerbell. Um, you could easily use this for any sort of uh, uniform or huku that um, uh, Japanese uh, characters wear in, in anime or manga. So for instance, um, when I initially did the review for this corseted skirt, I said that the skirt was Sailor Moon length. You could very much convert this into a Sailor Moon huku just by um, ordering this in white. I know that Fairy Gothmother offers this in white satin, and I don't know if it is a cotton-based satin or a polyester-based satin. There are ways to um, dye polyester, however, Cotton is obviously a little bit easier to dye, but you can basically order one of those, dip dye, basically just the skirt part, add a collar or the lapels that you need, and you're basically ready to go. So that's basically all I got for now um, in terms of turning the corseted skirt or corset dresses into a Halloween costume. And if you have any other ideas for costumes using one of these, then please leave them in a comment down below. It'd be really cool to see. Or if you already have a costume planned around something like this, then feel free to post a video response. I know of four different companies that have actually made corseted skirts, so I'm going to put the links for those companies in the description below. If any of you guys know of other corset making companies or corseteers that make corseted skirts or corset dresses, then feel free to leave a comment below as well. So have fun dressing up and experimenting with your corsets and costumes this Halloween, and I'll see you in a few days with the next video. Bye!